America is currently a fair war. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to LA. There you have it. We landed this morning. It's about, what, 11 a.m. right now? It's 11.30 a.m. And we got our rental car. Oh, okay. We got our rental car and we're in our, like, one of our favorite spots to take photos in downtown LA. It's on top of, like, Joe's parking garage across the street from Little Tokyo, which is like, if you've watched my vlogs for a long time, this is where we always used to come pre-pandemic. We started coming here in like 2017, and every time we would come to LA, we would always start here. So it's fun to be back. We haven't been since like January or February of 2020. We're meeting up with some of our friends. We're gonna have some lunch and then see where the day takes us. But it feels so good to be back. We're here. We made it. Anniversary. Part two. Can I do a carry road? Yeah. later we've been with our friends for a long time this is josh and noelle Hi. noelle and i've known each other since high school i think i've talked about it but we were just inside of this market marukai market in little tokyo and i saw these strawberries that are all over tiktok and these are like 20 dollar strawberries and like most people would be like Shh, that's ridiculous and i was like we have to try them so i bought them oh my god how cute we're not gonna wash them because we can. They are to be washed for $24. If they're 20, yeah, or $19, $19 I think. So here we go. I've seen good things on TikTok, but. They're very bright red. They, they are. Smell great. I smell them already. <sighs> yeah, they do. Yeah, they smell do smell pretty. Wow. Oh, Big one. Here's besties. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they're very good strawberries. They do taste like a strawberry. I'm getting strawberry flavor, yes. <laughs> I'm a strawberry. <laughs> a strawberry. Yes. Of strawberry. I will say it's like one of the better strawberries I've had. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Mine wasn't very sweet. Mine was so. Oh. Hard. Mine was sweet. Maybe we should just keep eating them until we figure it out. They're like really soft. I mean, yeah, they're very tender for sure, but not like rock. I feel like when we first moved here in the farmer's market, we had some of the best strawberries in my life. My vote is that they're, they're not, really good, but they're not worth twenty dollars. We had a uh, little tub of Cool Whip to dip them in. That might be really nice. It's cool Whip. Have you seen where people will like make like a sugar water glaze and yeah. then dip them in there and yeah. they're so shiny and they're crunchy? Right. When no, you... I wish I thought of that. They're good. Are they worth twenty dollars? Hell no. You just taste like strawberries. This is my fourth <laughs> one. I can't stop. Okay, what do you get about out of ten? If you didn't know how much it cost, like, yeah. Out of 10. <laughs> Take the price Probably out of it. Probably like a seven or an eight. It's I'm gonna not, say an eight. This isn't sweet to me. It's still a little sour. Mine were sweet. I would say eight. They're very soft. Too. Yeah, I'd say like eight, eight, nine. If you're not factoring in the cost. Yeah, I'm not factoring in the cost. I give it an eight, eight point six. With the cost, six nine. Mm, yeah, <laughs> solid. Well, there you have it. Our official comprehensive review. I already ate four. Please, someone eat it. Our yeah. official comprehensive review of the twenty-four. I think, or maybe $19 strawberries at Little Tokyo. Okay, bye. Quick and to the point, you know? Thank you. I'm not here to waste anyone's time. <laughs> Chia Pet Saga. <laughs> Mine did not get this knife. R.I.P. Cheers! <laughs> Five hours later. I don't have pants on. Oh, okay. <laughs>
We had a really lovely time in Little Tokyo and we checked into our hotel. We're up on the 10th floor this time and we have a gorgeous view of the Hollywood Hills. We're like right by the elevator so hopefully we don't hear everyone like partying tonight. <laughs> we probably will. Drew's going. Maybe we'll be partying by the elevator tonight. Who knows? But we came into our room because we woke up at like 5 a.m. So we're really tired. We just like laid down in our bed for probably 20 minutes, just chilling, like talking, figuring out our plan for tonight. So we're all checked into the hotel. Our friends are on their way right now to pick us up and we're going to have like a double date night. It's going to be really fun. So we're going to Silver Lake or I think actually we're going to Koreatown first and then we're going to dinner in Silver Lake later. So it'll be really fun to just like, I don't know, we haven't really gotten to do this a lot and do like a fun going out double date night. So... Here we go. I need to get ready in about five minutes, so let's see what we can do. Okay, we've done it. It's kind of chilly, so my knees might be a little cold. You look cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just realized that we extremely underpacked. Like everything we were looking, we were like, I, I didn't bring jeans. Like I didn't bring jeans on a tr vacation. I don't know, I'm confused. Cause it's gonna be like 93. So as you saw in the last vlog when I was packing, I was like, yeah, I'm bringing this and this. And like, I didn't bring it like a jacket. So anyway, this is what I'm wearing. I showed it in the last vlog, but this dress is from H&M. I got it like last year or maybe even in 2020, but I haven't gotten to wear it yet. And it's very cute. And then these boots are from ThreadUp and that's thrifted. Thrifted. Levi's and um, Nikes. These are actually from Somewhere north from Rye. Perfect. So, and the necklace is from me. Some trick name. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go. Mom and dad are acting up tonight. <laughs> success very happy love our friends love it here love being able to come here and just hang out and have fun we miss our pets we were talking about both of them earlier but i'm gonna change into my pajamas and maybe drink liquid iv and then go to bed so night night good morning los angeles and this dirty window. It is a beautiful morning, obviously, as you can see. It is the next day, we've gotten ourselves ready and we're going on a little hike this morning. We're taking, our friends are taking us up to Franklin Canyon, which we've never done before. Supposedly very beautiful. It's kind of more of like a walk and talk and chat and get some movement in type of thing. But yeah, we're excited. So they're actually pretty much downstairs to meet us. Oh, and then we're getting coffee first, Avi. How are you feeling today? Good. We were um, a little hungover when we woke up, but then now uh, we're fine. That was fine. He and had a I, celery juice at dinner last night. His cocktail had celery juice in it and um, she did her thing, so he's feeling better. Okay, it's gonna be a great day.
going off-roading a little bit. So we have been taking a hike at this place called Franklin Canyon Park and there's this insane abandoned house here and our friends just told us that when they came here i don't remember a couple years ago they transformed this entire area into like a set for american horror story 1984 i think and they turned this into a gas station so i guess if you watched american horror story 1984 and there's a gas station and like that's the gas station i guess and then they put the pumps out here so pretty cool fun fact just finished our hike very successful well it was just kind of a walk but very pretty. We're leaving said abandoned gas station and it's so cute. Highly recommend checking it out if you do live in LA, but don't tell my friend that I told you because she said she wants to gatekeep it and keep it a secret <laughs> because she comes here. She came here like throughout the entire pandemic, but it was beautiful. There were so many dogs. There was water. There was turtles. There was ducks. There were American coots. <laughs> Who could want more? <laughs> Made it back to the hotel, that was so freaking cool. I literally can't recommend that enough. Like if you live in LA, it was so quiet, it was so peaceful. There was like hardly anybody there. We were definitely talking about like the next time we're here with our moms, like we would definitely bring like our moms. You could bring like your parent, whatever. There's like hiking trails that you can do, but there's also just like a walk. That's what we did. It's okay. But we have like T minus one hour until we have to be less than one hour. Yeah, we have we have less than an hour until we have to be at our next place. So we're gonna like quickly get ourselves together, rinse off, maybe if we have time. We're actually going to the Academy Museum. Wait, what's it called? Academy of Motion Pictures. Academy of Motion Pictures Museum. And we were gonna go back in December with our friends, but we there weren't any time slots available at the same time. So we're gonna experience a museum today. Cause why not? And then I think we're going to the beach later. All right, we've done it. I've got my cute little Madewell dress, my loafers, which I have not worn yet. They are new. I have some like blister protectors on the back of my heels, so pray for me. And we're heading out. I got my little braids in my hair and I've got a blazer for later because we are going to go for an early dinner and go to the beach. And that's our night. Let's go museuming. Yeah. You look really cute. Thank you. Love the OOTD. Thank you. You want to give us some deets? Same shoes from yesterday. Okay. Levi, five something or others. <laughs> old Navy, plain white tees. <laughs> and this is thrifted. Thanks, Those old yeah. people. <laughs> Let's go. There's this place called Ospi in Venice that I've seen a lot of people talk about and say it's really good, so we're gonna try it for dinner. And it's four o'clock now, our reservations are at six, and we're just gonna like eat and drink at places along the way leading up to dinner, so this is the first time. And it's rolling. So we're at this place for dinner called Ospi, like I mentioned earlier. Can we I, ordered the kale salad because it's supposedly salad? good. You may, you may talk to my salad. We also got, they have a house-made limoncello and we got a limoncello 
uh, lemon drop. Everything's delish so far, so. So, so far, so good. Okay, we have to share our thoughts about that meal because you oh said at dinner. God. Oh, good. Noelle said that it was maybe one of the best meals she's had. One of the top in meals LA. that she's Definitely. had in yeah. LA. I mean, she's been she's been around the world. She's had she's had like actual pasta and you know Italy and stuff. But she said that that was one of the better meals she's had in LA. So if that gives you any uh, insight, Ospie and Venice, yeah. <laughs> hit them up. It's delicious. What is the service? Said that we finished our dessert in record time. He goes, that might be a record. <laughs> no, I goes, why would you say that? <laughs> Don't judge us. He was like, I'm just saying. That was the fastest anyone's it ever eaten. Tiny. We <laughs> each had like for one four bite. Us. But it was delish. And now we're just down at the beach. I'm literally in my dress. We don't have a blanket. Um, what did you say you were gonna do? Sit your. We're gonna sit on our biscuits. Oh, he said, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sit on my biscuit. I said, same. <laughs> Can you just wipe this? See how the lens is crumbling. Oh, I see the lens. Hello, lens. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so sorry to know what the sand in your drink. So sorry for everyone who walks by. You <laughs> see my, my whole ass. <laughs> this is 